hearts and roll with heart and pride we're led. Learning is always fulfilled. Endless battles test our wills. Forevermore we make our pact all hail the Ruba Hills. Good morning, Spartans. I'm Alexander Zavala. And I'm Brianna Munoz. And, and welcome, welcome back, back to Spartan, Spartan TV. TV. This month is National Bullying Prevention Month. Be sure to be kind to one another, Spartans. Yeah, Alex. I'm not mean to you, bro. That's a cap. Okay, then whatever, Alex. Spartans, next week on November 1st, it's National Jersey Day. You can for sure catch me wearing a jersey next week. In other news, volleyball and girls tennis had their senior night last week, and Freddie Heredia was all over it. Last Thursday night was our Lady Spartans Volleyball Senior Night. As the crowd cheered them up, the graduating athletes had an opportunity to walk on the court alongside their family members. Each athlete was given the task of writing a farewell speech describing their years being part of the Harupa Hills Volleyball Program. It was a wonderful and an emotional night for the senior athletes as this was their final home game. Our Lady Spartans tennis team also had their senior night where they had the chance to thank their parents, coaches, and fellow teammates for making tennis at Harupa Hills an amazing experience in their life. Now, let's talk football. Spartans, if you didn't go to the game last week, it was a war zone. But our boys fought hard and efforted a win till the end. We came short of a win in the end, but hey, our boys fought hard all the way through the fourth quarter. This was our very first loss of the season, which goes to show we have a great hardworking team. And sure enough, we don't quit. We met Arroyo Valley and slammed them on their butts last night. Keep it going, boys. Speaking of fights, I didn't see you take the bus yesterday. No, I'd rather walk home and take the bus. People push and shove to get in line, and it's really unfair. What do you mean, Alex? Here, I can show you. Let's take a look. Um, excuse me, man. What happened? I was, I was here first. Um. It don't look like it. I'm here now, so it looks like dude, I'm first I now. Was, I was just here in hey, chill, hey, why chill. you gotta push me, dude? Chill, dude. What do you mean, dude? Chill, dude. What are you doing? Chill, dude. dude. I want you gentlemen to understand that I've already seen everything on camera. And the only reason that we're talking is because I need you to reflect on what you guys have been doing out there. What could you have done differently to show your frustration? I could have just used my words. You could have used your words, sure. Now that you've had a chance to calm down, do you see where his frustration was coming from? Yeah, I guess he has a point. Wow, Alex, the hustle will be real. I, I, yeah, it'd be like that sometimes. Spartans, let's be fair to one another and be patient. We don't want to end up like those guys in Mr. Gosto's office. But you know what's sad, Alex? Spartans end up in the office because of possession of illegal substances, like drugs. Since it's Red Ribbon Week, this is an opportunity for us to remind our Spartans that drugs just aren't worth it. Let's take a look at a quick PSA our Spartans put together.
Wow, that PSA was sure powerful. It's important that each and every one of us realize an addiction can start with just trying it. And it can lead us to some extremely tragical consequences. As a matter of fact, our peer leaders have been spreading awareness by sharing stats and photos throughout the school. It's crazy to see how life on drugs can really mess up a person. Some of these transitions are unbelievable. So sad. Spartans, we ask all of you to please be wise and make good choices and stay drug free. Now that you mentioned being wise, it's been a while since we've mentioned the Sparta Matrix to our fellow Spartans. Yeah, I agree. The Sparta Matrix is a very important set of standards for our school. It's something a Spartan should take into consideration every day. Let's take a look at our new segment. Hi, my name is Benjamin, and I'm here to tell you about the Sparta Matrix. But you didn't know we have six characteristics to define us Spartans. Today's letter is S. Being a successful team player is not just for athletes. Doing your part in a group project makes you a successful team player. Thanks, Sergio. Of course. In all honesty, I had forgotten what the S stood for. How about you, Brianna? Successful team player, duh. Well, you're a senior, so of course you'd know it. But did you know that last week, our peer leaders attended an event at Elder Middle School where they learned about self-care and combating mental issues? Yeah, I heard it was very moving and informative. Not only did our Spartan peer leaders attend, they also played the suicide prevention video we provided. It was a success. You know what else I know? A lot of students don't realize we have a DJ club at our school. Really? That's dope. I had no idea. Yes, indeed, Alex. Every time we have school events and hear cool music playing, it's all in courtesy of our DJ club. Wow, that's cool. Let's take a look into what this club is really about. Uh, DJ club is the club that pretty much plays music at all the Spartan events. DJ Club is like like uh, making music, listen to other music and remixing and all that stuff. And sometimes you could put your own music so to get popular. Uh, during the DJ Club, we just um, kind of work on our craft, play music, um, work on mixing, and just try to find like the right music to play. With. Wow. DJ Club sounds fun. Yeah, it does. If it wasn't for the DJ Club being a part of school events, they'd low-key be kind of boring. Yeah, that's so true. DJ Club was at our homecoming rally supporting our school and keeping us hyped up with the music. It was definitely a good one. Here's a recap in case you missed it. Wow, that was an amazing rally. Oh, heck yeah. Most definitely, it was great. I wonder if any of those talented Spartans of ours are going to audition for the talent show next week. There's auditions next week? Dude, yes. Come on, Brianna. Give it the program. Spartans who are interested in participating can audition on the 30th at 1.30 p.m. in the lecture hall. We're also going to have our Halloween costume contest next week on Thursday, both lunches. Spartans who dress up have a chance to win prizes and get voted for best costume. Get creative, Spartans. That wraps it up for us today. Don't forget to tune in for next week's show. I'm Brianna Munoz. And I'm Alexander Zavala. Make, Make it, it a great, great day, day, Spartans. Spartans. You, you deserve, deserve it. it. Yeah, let's go. I'm Yasmin and I choose to be drug free. Hi, and I'm Mr. Lopez. I choose to be drug free because I want to live a long time. I'm Aisa and I choose to be drug free because I don't want drugs for my life. My name is Edwin and I chose to be drug free. Hi, I'm Ava and I'm Brianna and we chose to be drug free. Don't do drugs. Have a great life. Don't screw yourself over. Matthew Tapia signing off. <laughs>